Okay, let's go ahead and solve this question too. A rigid tank with a volume of 3 meter cube contains. That's exactly the same as the previous uh, segment that I sold. But this time around, I give you a kilogram, how much of the mass of the water, and I give you the temperature of it. Okay? This time I'm asking you the pressure. Okay? I'm asking you quality of the mixture, but I said if applicable, the reason is that if I plot a, you know, you're going to see that I have a constant temperature, so I need to, to plot PV diagram this time around. Okay, it's not the best, but it'll, it'll do just fine. So steam dough, and I will have something like this hitting here. Let's go in there, and this is 68 degrees C constant. Okay, so the question why am I saying if applicable is as I mentioned in the previous segments, I will compare the specific volume given, or I will obtain my specific volume, and I will compare to the this value and this value if I want. If the value that I have is above this value, that means superheated vapor, right? And if I'm below that, it means it's compressed liquid. And if I'm in between those two, it means I'm right inside of this dome, okay? So only X is defined inside of that dome, all right? And the total energy of the mixture. Um, I kind of give you the mixture, uh, you know, maybe I shouldn't say that because it's now clear where I'm at. Anyway, any, anyways. So the first thing I want to do is the mass is given, the volume is given. I want to take advantage of that right off the bat. So I will have three meter cube divided by mass was uh, two kilograms. So I will get myself 1.5 meter cube per kilogram as my specific volume of this case. Okay. And as I mentioned now, my goal is to obtain this value and this value and compare contrast where I'm at. Okay. I wasn't in a very nice mood today, so I ask you 68 degrees C. I could have asked you 70, I could have asked you 65, but now I want you to interpolate, okay? Um, again, before I forget though, why don't you try to solve this on your own before, you know, like you just watch me doing it. It's not as, uh, it will not seem as difficult, okay? If you do it yourself, it may be a different, uh, you know, a ball game, okay? So which, which one am I going to use? Am I going to look at A4 or A5 in terms of the tables? As I have pressure in here, I will look at A5 will be the wrong answer. What I will do is I will give you a constant temperature. As I give you the constant temperature, then I look at A4. That's what it lists for. Okay. So if I go to table A4, then I will actually, uh, you know, uh, list uh, the, 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 the uh, 68 is not there. So I have 65, I have 70, I have the specific volume of the saturated liquid, I have specific weight of the saturated gas or vapor, I have the saturated pressure which is needed for part A of the question and I have UF and UFG, specific internal energy. I don't have, I don't have to have the G because in the previous question or rather here you will find out that I only need to have UF and FG because it is UF plus X times UFG, right? Okay, so let me simply, well, why don't I write this? I'll be right back, okay? I don't want you to watch a bunch of numbers. Okay, I'm back. So what is happening in here is now I need to find the 68, right? So I need to do something called interpolation, and I discussed this before. Let's start with the interpolation of the first one. Uh, maybe start with saturated pressure because now that will be the, uh, the, the answer to part A. Okay, let's start with that one. So basically, uh, it will be 31 point 202 minus 25.043 divided by the differences in the x is 70 minus 65 will be equal to the, 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 the basically the saturated pressure that I'm interested in minus 25.0368 68 65. So if I plug this into my calculator, and I did really, literally, I got myself 28.7384. Okay, so that will be the, and by the way, this is given in kilopascals in uh, table A4. So this will be the answer to part A. It will be 28.7384 kilopascals. Okay, that will be my pressure. Okay, and I did the same interpolation, um, like, like, let me show just one of them maybe. So let's say this is 0 0.001023 minus 0.001020 divided by 70 minus 65 will be equal to the specific uh, volume of the saturated liquid of at 68 minus 0 0.001020 divided by 
68 minus 65. Again, a hint to you. So this and this, this and this is the same. So I only change these two and these two, okay? As a hint to you. So if I do it, if I punch into my calculator, I will get myself 0 0.0010218, okay? Um, I can do the same for this one, and I want to show you for a reason because now this is going to end up with negative value, but the formula will still work. So you will do this 5.0396 minus 6.1935 divided by the same thing 70 minus 65 will be equal to. You see, let me, you know, like I when I do it myself, if I'm not teaching, I usually do this, you know, minus 65, the same thing, minus 6.1935. I simply fill that in, you know, like 68 is over here. And that will be whatever I'm interested in, in this particular case, specific volume of the saturated vapor, okay? And if you just punch this in the calculator, mathematics will help you out. So you'll get this to be 55116. I need UF2, so that's going to be 284.66. This will be 2181.6. And I really did this myself, by the way, because I prepared this question. So this was real fun. You can imagine me doing it, yeah. And I hope I didn't make a mistake somewhere. We'll find out, I guess, yeah. So now the question is, if applicable quality of the mixture, okay? Now I'll ask you this, you know, take a moment. How are you going to calculate it? Are you going to calculate it from this? X is equal to mg divided by m total. You can, but I have another, uh, you know, uh, shortcut. The reason is this. I know the specific volume of my mixture and I know specific vo vo volume of the saturated liquid and the specific volume of the saturated gas so I should be able to find quality but before we go there you see where am I okay what I need to do is I need to look here okay and I need to look there and basically this value must just simply go down this is well almost very very small because it's very dense right liquids 10 to 1 8 and I have over here, this will be what, 5.50. I'm going to stop there, 5.50. And the, the number is 1.5, right? 1.5 over here. So this value is 1.5. So you can see here, I'm in between. So I will be able to use the mixture. So this is a mixture uh, of the saturated liquid and saturated vapor. If this value that I obtained here was, I don't know, 7, right? So then I will be here. So I will look at the superheated vapor table, okay? And if my value that I get from here was, well, it's gonna be extremely small, but let's say 0.001, right? So then I will be right here in the compressed liquid region, okay? Okay, now I know that I will be able to go and find my X value, okay? And the X value will be fine like this. The specific volume, as I mentioned, given to me plus X times VFG, right? So I can simply write it. So 1.5, that's, I know it, I find it. 0 0.0010218 plus X, which I don't know, of 5.50116 minus 0 0.0010218, okay? So then you just simply find this x value in here. It's just one equation, one unknown. So you find it to be 0 0.2725, okay? So this will be your answer. 0 0.2725 will be my x value, okay? And once I know my x, actually, the rest is, uh, as I mentioned in the previous question as well, it's not that bad because I know this formula, uf plus x ufg. And the UF value was 284.66 plus X is right up there, 2725 multiplied by 2181.6 and you will get your U to be 879.22 kilojoule per kilogram. Again, just like I said in the previous question, I they say that this is my weekly quizzes and you find this value and be sure that this will be one of the choices in the weekly quiz. Um, so what will happen in here? Are you going to pick this? No, you are wrong. Why? Because this is the specific internal energy. The question is asking me the total energy, right? The total energy, specific energy. For stationary total specific energy and total energy is the same as we discussed before. So then I have to do this. This is going to be m total times u. And mass it was 2, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's 2. So then it will be 2 kilogram times 
779.22 kilojoule per kilogram. Kilograms cancel. I will get myself 1758.44 kilojoules or in terms of uh, writing 1.758 megajoules. Okay, that is the energy that is contained in my system that I can tap into. Okay. All right, thank you for watching this uh, segment as well. Have a good day.